So everyone again, welcome to Brazil of the Dog. And we have a ter- beautiful Torah from, from Rabbi Nachman. It's, a, it's part of the Torah of, of Mem Gimel, uh, Lesson 43. And we're going we're gonna to see a part of it, and it's amazing. So it says like here, Hain, uh, Hain, Hayu B'nei Yisrael B'dvar Bilam. Da. So we know we had the, we had the whole problem, right, with, with Klal Yisrael, uh, with Bilam and Bolak, right? Bolak hired Bilam, and Bilam, uh, Bilam went, and uh, Bilam was supposed to curse Klal Yisrael, and we know that, my, that Bilam, uh, Kodesh Baruch Hu was Mahapich, his, his uh, words, and he turned the words of Kalal, he turned the words of Kalal into Bracha Matayvu Alechayyakli. So now we're saying over here, so the Rebbe says, Da, Ki Adiburim Shel HaRosha Hu Bar Das Melidin Niyof Ba'ashemeya. A very interesting idea, that when the word, that when a, when a Russia speaks, when you hear a Russia speaking, it it it, uh, it it brings about feelings of immorality. It's the nicest way to put this neof for the person that's listening. Why? Because we know that the Russia is a, is usually a a very immoral person and is involved in in things that um, are are not permitted by the Torah. Uh, m- many times they are involved things involving sexual acts and things that, of that nature, and uh, because because of that, when the Russia speaks, uh, he, he actually awakens these things into people. It's infused into people. Uh, we studied a while back uh, from the from the tzaddik uh, Rav Shimshin David Pinkis, right, and he was a great great tzaddik, and he told us that. That how how do we today in our time how can we be mekayim the mitzvah of mechias samolik? In other words, the mitzvah of mechias samolik is upon us all the time, but but really, who who are they? Who are the amalekim? And then and what can we do? What can we do to strike out the amalekim? I mean, we live we live in a society that doesn't allow us, you know, to to pick and choose who we want to kill, and we can't just walk around killing people. You know, we're not exactly people like the ISIS and, you know, these, uh, these terrorists and things like that. We don't do things like that, right? So, so the Rebbe said, so, so, so Rebbe Shimshin David Pinkus said that uh, any time that we have the ability to turn down, to read uh, words that are written by, that, that are written by a, a, a non-Jew, words that are written by a, 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 a Russia, a wicked person, and we don't do that. So he said, in fact, we're being we're being mekayim the mitzvah of mechias Amalek. Why? Because Amalek comes to try to come into us and tries to attack us via their words. So if we can turn down and not listen to the words of 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 the news and all of these things that is full of garbage, mamish garbage, and the people that are that are spewing it. They're spewing garbage at us. And this is what the Rebbe is hinting to over here. Because Zivugim, pairs, groups, matches, are, are, are drawn from the Das. Where's the Das? The Das is in Amayach, in the mind. Adam knew, he knew of his wife, Chava. The Rashi says over there, if you take a look, Rashi says that Yodeyas Ishtar, it means they had they had their relations. And that's and that's what it means Yodeyas Ishtar. Iksiv, kol isha yodas ish, each woman knows their husband. Okay, ach, yesh ne mine zivugim. There are two types of groups, matches. There are two types. Hainu zivug de kedusha. There's a zivug, there's a, there's a couple that's comprised of kedusha. That is a there could be a, a a a husband and a wife that get married with uh, with with uh, with uh, uh, with kedushin and uh, you know nesuin and they do and they do the right thing and and they get married and they keep you know taharas and mishpach and they do the right thing. So this is these are these are these are, these are people these are people of a, of a zivug the kedusha who is is kashrus la tzadikim vela toira vela shem is baruch. So that is. A connection that's bound to what the tzaddikim, that's bound to the righteous ones, 
the Taira and Hashem is Barach. We'll explain that in a second. Zen Nimchach Mi Das Be Kedusha. That comes from the Das of Kedusha. What's the Das of Kedusha? Taira. What's holy Das? What's holy knowledge? Holy knowledge is Das of the, the, the holy knowledge is the, is the Taira. Hakidusha. Nimchach Mi Das Be Kedusha. Bazivugim Shelaveira. The Zivugim, these couples, these groups, they get together of Aveira, the Mishachim Mi Das the Klipa. That's drawing from the das of the klipa, the husks of impurity. Nimchaka midas the klipa. Vadiber, who is galus adas? Now, how do we know? How does anybody know what's on somebody's mind? How does anyone know? Based on their speech, right? A person will speak, and then based on the way the person speaks and what the person says, we have an idea what the what was on the person's mind based on the the speech that comes from that person. All right, and, and that's the his galus adas. That's the revelation of the das. That's how you reveal the das, the the information, the the intellect of the person is revealed via the das. Ki ein shebedas because we have no way to determine what's in a person's mind and what comprises a person's mind and his information other than the way the person speaks, right? So sometimes, you know, we, we have the, the, the misfortune of meeting people and they, they speak in a very coarse way and they use very, uh, very coarse language and so on. So these people, we understand. We understand that, that these people, are, their mind is full of things that are, not, that, are, that are not proper. And how do you know it? Based on the speech. And the, the speech is the revelation of what's in the dust. There's galas of dust. The night is where, is where, is where it comes upon the das. Yechave is says here from the David, the words of David Amelech is a loshen of speech. Speech. The words speak. What is in the das of the intellect of the person? When the word, when the Russia speaks, and he speaks of things that are improper, it 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 gives birth to the the air. That's impure of niyaf of of immoral of, 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 of being immoral. And these people that hear this, they breathe in these these breaths. Machnis They bring into their they bring into their uh, uh, bodies. They enter into their bodies this this impure air. Lefichach. Therefore, Bila. Shu bechinas das the klipa. Bilam was mamish a rasha merusha. Right, we're going to see in a moment. As the as it's taught by our holy Chazal, in the levzani bracha, where do you find that? And that's in brachas, and it's brought in the zayir hakadosh. Al apasig like come kimoisha. No one, there's no Navi, there's no Navi in Klal Yisrael that's ever going to be like Maishu Rabbeinu. Maishu Rabbeinu is unique. Maishu Rabbeinu is the Navi of Klal Yisrael. He's the Rosh of all the Nevi'im. Maishu Rabbeinu, like come, ke Maishu. Be Yisrael like come. In Klal Yisrael, there won't be any Navi that's greater than Maishu Rabbeinu. Maishu Rabbeinu is the top, top Navi of all Nevi'im. But in the Umais, when it comes to the nations of the world, they can, they will have a Navi like on that level of Maishu Rabbeinu. Because Maishu Das, and therefore Maishu Rabbeinu's generation, that Maishu, the people of Maishu Rabbeinu, they were the Dar Deya, they were the Dar that had knowledge. And therefore, when uh, when, when Mayav took the eitz from Midian, Amru lahem ein koyche ella bepe. The only koyche is in the mouth. In the mouth, ki apeh who is galus adas. Look what they knew, because the mouth is the revelation of the das that's inside the person's mind. 
So therefore, why did why did Bullock bring want to bring in a person that 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 has that has the koyach of Dibur, but he understood he had the koyach of Dibur from the Klipa, not the koyach of Dibur from Kedusha, like Moshe Rabbeinu. But he understood that if he's going to fight Moshe Rabbeinu, and Moshe Rabbeinu's koyach is beper. Moshe Rabbeinu's Kayach is Bepeh, so he needs someone that can fight Moshe Rabbeinu on his level, Bepeh. But he wanted it to be a, someone that was an impure person, and it couldn't be a, a person that was a more in, a impure than, than, than Bila Marasha. Amazing, mamish amazing. Tell them, Kihu Gam Kain Das the Klipa. So Moshe Rabbeinu is the Dordea Das. That's Moshe Rabbeinu, Das the Kedusha. Bill Amarosha, who Gam came Das, but he's the Das of the Klipa. He's the information, he's the knowledge of the, of the husks of impurity. But we studied this many times together. HaKadosh Baruch who makes everything equated in the world. Whenever there's a level of holiness, there's also a level of impurity. Hashem has everything always, always, always balanced in the world. Everything has to always be balanced. That's the way HaKadosh Baruch Hu made everything. The uh, Rabbi Yisrael wants everything to be balanced. And that's what he says, and he knows the das of the upper knowledge. He understood, Bila Marasha understood, because he's from the side of Klipa. He's from the side of impurity. So he's able to perceive on his level, he's able to perceive when a Kaddish Baruch will be angry at Kalal Yisrael. Ah, amazing, amazing. We studied this many times before. See, there Das Elyon. He understood this. He knew when a Kaddish Baruch will be, Kikisha Adas, Enoi Bihishu. Azai yesh kas, because when the das is not is settled, when you don't have a clear das, when the das is not clear, azai yesh kas, then there's going to be kas, there's going to be anger. Anyone that gets angry, anyone that's angry, his chachma leaves him. The person loses his chachma when... He gets upset. Look how important it is to, to keep calm always. Look how important, because you lose your intellect. Your mamish can lose intellect when a person gets upset. Is it really worth to get upset? Is it really worth it to lose your intellect? Is it mamish? Is that worth it? You have to think of this. Mr. Lek is me menu. And when Moshe Rabbeinu got upset at Klal Yisrael, Al Anche Yatzavosha Bo Midian, from that those those soldiers that came from Midian, Nistalik Rimenu Adas, Moshe Rabbeinu lost his das because again Moshe Rabbeinu on his level, Moshe Rabbeinu on Moshe Rabbeinu's level. Again, we said how great Moshe Rabbeinu is, but Moshe Rabbeinu still got upset on his level for the one, and he was a good, he was right for me. Nistalik Rimenu Adas, so Moshe Rabbeinu lost his das. Lutzuch Elazu Loy Ma'elchus Tzvilas Kelim. So therefore, at that moment, at that moment, Elazar, Elazar, Elazar had to be the one that would paskin the tefillas kalim, the halachas of tefillas kalim, had to purify vessels. Because again, Moshe Rabbeinu, because at the time that the that the that the that the that the the the, 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 the legions came from Midian, he was upset. The questions were asked. So Moshe Rabbeinu was, was because he lost. We see the perfect raya. That why we should never get upset. Look, even if Maish Rabbeinu, the greatest tzaddik that we ever had in Kalal Yisrael, the greatest Navi, we just said, the greatest Navi, but even if the greatest Navi can't, can get upset, and he can lose his das, Allah has come to become any of us. Chas Shalom should never get upset. We have to take this mamish to heart. Mamish to heart. Oh, as I ain, uh, uh, as I ain kas, Kemai shekasu, just turn the page here. Shekasu, lo yereyu v'lo yashchisu b'chol har kachi. The Navi Yeshai says, "Kimalo aretz deya." 
but, uh, but because Hakadosh Baruch Hu is Mola Haaretz Neya, really the whole world is filled with the knowledge of Hashem. Bilam Ayam is Takim, Midas the Klipa. Bilam was looking at the at the Das of the Klipa. He was looking at the intellect of the husk of impurity. Vuhu Zehu Maisra Shel Das Elyon. And that's the, the leftovers, that's the maestras, the extras from the Das Elyon. O Kishinistan, Yada Shakodish Baruchu, Kishmistan, Yada Shakodish Baruchu, Bekais, Nimsa, Shabilam, who das the Klipa. So because Bilam had his das, he would understand, and Kas comes from this place of impurity. So Bilam would understand Chas Rishon Vakodes Baruch Hu would get upset. Ayadei di Burav Hoylin Avira Maarisim Shel Niyaf, and he knew that his words would bring things of immorality. And look what happened. Look what happened. He, he gave the idea that the, that the, that the, that the, that, the, that the women should come. And look what happened. We lost twenty four thousand people. That they left the they left the women live. That was the Dvar of Bilam. Dvar Daika Ki Ayadei Dvar Shu is Galus Adas Shaloi Hayle Nia Femidyan, and that's how he brought in the, the this idea of the impurity from Midyan. Lafikach Shabaya Melchemes Midyan Siv Ayikrivu El Moshe Hapikudim. They brought together Moshe Rabbeinu the Pikudim by Yoyma by Nakrev as Karban Hashem. They'll bring the cover shell the chapel and the same of the Hashem with those who present the Bracha, Shekach Amru, Alpha Pisha Shemide, Ave Rayotsu, Mide Yiru, La Yotsu. So look what we see over learning over here. This is a an amazing idea. Uh, 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 what, what we're learning over here from, 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 from Rabbi Nachman, he's teaching us the greatest ideas over here. And what was Bilam's really his intellect? What was he trying to do? <laughs> Bilam, what? <laughs> Bilam, Bilam wanted so much so to bring in impurity into Kalaya. So that's all he wanted. That's all he wanted. And he understood when HaKadosh Baruch Hu would get upset. How did he understand it? Because he's Das the Klippa. And where did the Das the Klippa came from? It comes from the remnant of the Das Elyon. So he was connected to that. But we see with the most important lesson we see from this is how we always have to make sure not to get upset and how being angry, we lose our intellect. So with this alone, this is such a beautiful idea. And to help us, you know, to, to think about, you know, I told you the story, there was the great Rosh Yeshiva, Rav Gifter, Zeichet Tzadik Vekadosh Levrachav. Rav Gifter was a very, very special Tzadik, okay? He was from Ohio, okay? He's a great, great Tzadik, okay? And Rav Gifter, I'll tell you a story with him real quick, just to help understand this. Rav Gifter understood this to the T. So this is what he did. You know, Rav Gifta had a house and he had, uh, there was an attic in his house. Okay? And Rav Gifta had a special hat. He had a special hat that he left in his attic. And he made, he made a hachlata, he made a commitment that I'll never get upset, I will never lose my anger, I will never get upset and be angry. And if I do feel that I need to become angry, what I'm going to do is I have to put on that hat. And if I put on that hat, then I can get angry. And what did he do? If any time Rav Gifter was in his house and he was thinking of getting upset, he heard something, he saw something, he was going to get upset. So what he did was he started to go up, he went up to the second floor, he walked up all the steps, and then he went from the second floor, he was going to the land, on the landing, and he had to go up to the next flight to get to the next step, to the next to the attic. But he said, why did he do that? Because by the time he would get up to the, first, to the second floor, and he would walk up all the steps, and he would think about it, he would think, what am I getting upset about? What am I getting upset about? And everything HaKadosh Baruch does, he does for our, for the good. So who am I to get upset? He almost never put on that hat because he, he understood this to the team. I'm not going to get upset. He understood the value of not becoming upset. 
So we have to take this to heart, everyone. Thank you, everyone. And let's see the next time. And thank you for the listening on this 